That's just another example of how NBC can catapult you to stardom. In this next story, one of the most beloved of all time on NBC, class of 2004 graduate Garrett Rabinold shed the light on one of Mason's most obscure groups of people, the dumpster divers. The old saying, one man's trash is another man's treasure, is a motto that a new breed of treasure hunters lives by. These scavengers dig through the refuse of local businesses in their hopes of hitting the jackpot, and sometimes they do. Barnes & Noble is one of my favorites. Computer Renaissance, before they uh, went out of business, it was our, our gold mine. That's where we found most of our technology. We found enough stuff in a few weeks of diving to build uh, six or seven computers from scratch. Another fun place is uh, Cincinnati Bell. That's where we got all these. Some dumpster divers discovered at an early age their love for digging through another man's trash. When I was six, and we had just moved on to my new street, and they were still building, and I thought it was heaven because of all the little 30 cubic yard rumpke dumpsters in front of all the houses. It was just a jackpot of random building materials from 2x4s to wire to nails to extension cords to just random things that they can't use but I can. Most common items are books, magazines, 2x4s, lumber, plywood, the occasional find of fire suppression sprinklers and construction dumpsters. We found about um, six or seven boxes of undefaced books at Barnes & Noble, and I later sold those to half Press Books for a considerable profit. Books, uh, we found Cincinnati Bell, uh, cell phones and stuff, not working ones, and then uh, staples we found leather, leather chairs, uh, lamps, model MP3 players, cell phones. Almost all the computers in this room that I'm sitting in is built from a dumpster. So, not the dumpster itself, of course. Dumpster diving can be an adventure, and for those who take the dive, it can also be financially rewarding. I'm Garrett Ravenold, NBC News.